Hello everyone. So in today's tutorial, I'll be showing with you how to make film strip animation effect in Canva. So let's start with it. So I'll be going to video and in here I will use YouTube video as my canvas. You can use YouTube video or the simple video because both the dimensions are the same 1920 cross 1080 as you can see. Okay. So I am clicking it here. So before starting I request all of you to please subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any update from our channel. So let's start with it. So I will go to elements first. Okay. After that I will quickly scroll down to find frames. Click on see all. And we have to go to film and photo and click on see all. Okay, we will scroll down. And we will find this frame which is named as medium format frame rectangle landscape. Okay, so it is free to use for any user. So I will use it and I will bring it in the corner, make it smaller. Okay. And I will duplicate it. And make sure you check that the edges are in covered here and no thin white lines are coming here. Now we will go on duplicating this. So I will select all, make it smaller, okay, and add another one. So I will use seven frames here, okay, and every one of the frame edges are covered and no thin white lines are showing here because if that thing shows up we will not be able to make the effect okay so after that i will go to elements uh, again and use some photos for example so i am choosing ancient architecture here and i will select seven random photos from here So I have used 7 random photos so you can use any of your photos but this is just for example so I next I will click on Control A and click on group to group all the items after that we will make them bigger okay just unzoom it and make them bigger Okay, so make sure only two images are showing like that you uh, make it bigger so it's okay now. After that you need to do one thing which is just middle it and after that just bring on the rulers to find that scale here because it might be possible that when you make the later effects it might just come up or down and in that process the whole effect will be disrupted. So I will click on duplicate 
page. After that, here I will just move it to the second one. Okay. So as you can see, it is done. Next, I will duplicate it again. Again duplicate. and duplicate it again six slides in here because we have seven frames so or seven pictures in here so we are using six slides here okay so now we will choose a suitable background for the image and I have selected a background which is this one because I like the color because the architecture is not required but I like really like the colors so I will use it here and click on set image as background and I will now copy it by clicking on ctrl c and paste it on all the images ok so this one is scale so as you can see this one is not in scale So I have to bring it in scale after that okay so adjustment is the main thing here okay so the background setting is done now I will just change all the timing to 3 seconds. Ok. Click on apply to all pages. After that I will go to transition, add transition. And in all the pages I will use match and move and the duration will be 1 second. So all the setting is done. Now let's check the transition or the animation here. How it works. So it is working fine. And this is the transition which I was talking about. And hope you like this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe to the channel.